Welcome back to the HLCS. We have Sammy's Hammies versus Jordan's Jorts for Game 2. In Game 1, oh my goodness, Bobby on Trundle in the top lane this time. Not in the mid lane, but just constantly split pushing. Made it so difficult for Jordan's Jorts to use the early lead that they got. Jason Kanto on the Rengar had so much agency in the early game. And I thought that maybe... If they had a big enough lead, they'll be able to overcome any kind of scaling from Basil's Kindred or Kyo's Vigar, but it just didn't matter in the end. Trundle, no one could match a Trundle in the side lane. And here we go. Sammy's Hemi's banding away Nyla from Liam, as always. Um, <clears throat> Jordan's Jorts banding away Rengar from Kyo. A likely, a likely, uh, likely switch with Bobby on the team for Sammy's Hemis. It opens up a lot of different um, flex opportunities for Basil and Keo as well. Like Basil, Bobby, and Keo can all rotate top jungle mid. I mean, obviously we know we have we know Anthony can play mid and top, and we've seen Sam jungle and mid as well. But like. I'm pretty confident they'll be keeping him in the bot lane. Hecarim banned away from Jordan. And an instant Amumu ban as well. Um, Sam did say he might play at support. So might as well just take it away anyway. Amumu is also just a really devastating champion to have to, have to fight against in a team fight. Which is what these teams like to do. Unless your name is Bobby. But yeah. We'll see if we'll see what Bobby does this time. Definitely, definitely all eyes on him. I'm mentioning him a lot because he is just, just shaping how the game is played out because of him. And Zaya finally banned away from Hubert. We know he likes to go on that Zaya. And Trundle will be banned out for the last ban from Jordan's George. They do not want to see it again. And Yasuo. The famous Bobby Yasuo locked in for Sammy's Hammies. I think I'm I'm almost certain it's for Bobby. Unless Basil or Kyo want to want to take Yasuo for a spin. I'm pretty sure it's going into the hands of Bobby. But think speaking of taking things for a spin, Garen locked in for Jordan's Jorts. Maybe Kobe will be going in the top lane. Rakan locked in as well. That is not a Kobe champion. So definitely a bit of role swapping here from both teams is what I I assume if Yasuo is going mid lane and Bobby is playing him. But yeah, Garen in the top lane. Now it's now it's Kobe's turn to be a menace in the side lane. We'll see what Sammy's Hammies can do to answer the answer back. Jinx will be locked in for Sammy's Hemis. Anthony didn't know that uh, the passive Actually I don't know if they changed it yet where it maxes out at five, but the passive uh, resets and stacks on Jinx. So She'll, she'll have like 30 attack speed or something. Um, so it definitely piqued his interest. He, he mentioned he wanted to play it again. And so I guess this is the time. But I'm wondering if Sammy's Hammies will just lock in Nautilus or someone else with a knockup to help out uh, your main man with Yasuo's ultimate. But we will see as they... What? They pick Blitzcrank? I'm not sure why they picked Blitzcrank. I mean, Sam definitely just wants to make a statement or something. If it's Sam playing support. But, uh... I guess it's not for sure that Garen is Kobe's Garen. But I'm almost certain it is. And even if it wasn't, they didn't have to take away Blitzcrank. Because they already locked in Rakan. So I'm not sure if... That was completely tactical, or like it's just like they just want to. Someone wants to show off their own Blitzcrank skills, show that Kobe's not all that, but we'll see how they fare. Kobe did perform fairly well last game despite losing. And Ziggs locked in for Jordan's Jorts. Oh my goodness. I think Ziggs, Jason, Jason Wingard's Z Ziggs, um, I think was one of the worst performing champions in HLCS uh, so far. One of, the worst, one of the worst champion performances so far. If I recall, it was like a Zig Seraphine bot lane just getting completely blasted by an actual bot lane. They were like 0-8. <laughs> Definitely rough, but 
I imagine, I would hope this Ziggs is going mid lane, but we'll see. ADC options are still available. Kindred banned away from Basil. Definitely was a threat in last game as well. Just the late game insurance from Kindred and Vigar made it so much easier for Sammy's hammies to just go hammy, if you will. If you will. <laughs> um, and yeah. They don't want to see, they don't want to have to deal with the Kindred again. As Jarvan is locked, uh, is banned away from Jordan Stroitz. Just a, a solid champion to try and um, just a good all around her for this for the next going into the blind pick in the next phase. Diana is banned away. I think that's from Keo or Basil. I forget. Someone played Keo before in HLC. All right, someone played Keo. Someone played Diana before in HLCS. I'm not sure who it was, but. Regardless, we're not going to be seeing it in this game. Diana, banned away. Still looking for um, a topside from Sammy's Hemis. Again, assuming Yasuo is not going mid lane. As Kaisa, banned away from Jordan's Jorts as well. Two of Hubert's champions no longer available. Both Zaya and Kaisa gone. Jinx taken away. So maybe it will be the Ezreal? Pull, being being pulled out from Jordan Stewart's. I'm assuming this is all with the assumption that Hubert is still ADCing. Ash is still is still is still up, I guess. But I I don't think he, I've seen him play anything else besides Zaya, Kaisa, Jinx, and I guess he's got, could play Ezreal. Um, but yeah, Vi locked in with a jungle and oh no. Oh no, <laughs> they were talking about the Baus and how Keo does love to play Inting Scion. But it's against Kobe's Garen, so this will be an interesting Unstoppable Force versus Immovable mo Object matchup top lane. I actually think, I, I'm not an expert again. Look, I'm just a caster. I'm not an expert on matchups or anything, but to me... I see Garen, I see Scion, I see two Juggernauts just slugging out in the top lane. I don't think it actually favors one or the other. I do think that Garen will not be able to deal with an Inting Scion very well. But we'll see how Kyo plays this out as they need to round out this comp. And oh my goodness, I was going to say Maokai was really good for Yasuo, but they're hovering Shaco. And is Shaco going to be locked in? This is the first Shaco, I think. Oh my goodness, that changes everything. There's no knockups. Zero knockups for Yasuo, except for Scion Ultimate, I guess. And Scion Q and Blitzcrank Punch. But other than that, this this Yasuo is uh this Yasuo is on his own. Self-autonomous. And wait a second, what is going on here? A Lowey locked in for Jordan's Jorts. So I guess it's Ziggs. Rakan bot lane? I don't know what's going on, but Jordan's Jorts are definitely cooking up something. Last time Jordan cooked up something with Hubert, it was definitely a banger though. They ended up winning the game with Trundle and Vi. So, yeah. Um, okay, I this is the second Alawi we've seen. Last time, uh, it was Brosley playing Alawi, I believe. And he was quite successful in the top lane against Basil. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't. I I literally I'm trying to think of like what kind, what would make the most sense, but I don't know. I guess Ziggs mid lane, but I've always been an advocate for Vi mid lane, and it is a Yasuo as well. So maybe the Alawi is like some kind of tech to counter Yasuo mid, because I don't imagine Ziggs would fare very well into Yasuo mid. It's like, Yasuo definitely, if he doesn't get too pushed, uh, too poked out by the Ziggs, then Yasuo can definitely all in and also just make great use of his wind wall to win these trades against Ziggs. And especially a player like Bobby, he'll definitely know how to, how to pilot the champion to make it work for him. But yeah, maybe it's some kind of Yasuo counter mid lane with Vi or Alawi or Garen. I guess out of all of them, maybe 
it's Garen mid against Yasuo. Is Garen good into Yasuo? Could be. But that means Salawi versus Sion on top. Yeah, we'll see what they're cooking. I'm excited to see what they're cooking, but we're not gonna know because they're on red side and we don't get to see what they are doing. But yeah, Keo on Sion. Um, I've heard rumors about this. The inting Sion, he is literally the Baus. Just gonna do his best Bobby impression, I guess. Just try to eat towers and never group and just make it really difficult for Jordan's Jorts again to try and do any kind of team fighting, any kind of objective take or any like anything that requires more than four people. It's going to be difficult for Jordan's Jorts because they only have five and one of them has to has to deal with the split push. But Shaco as well. Very puzzling pick. Maokai would have been the boring answer, but it would have made a lot more sense. Provide a lot more frontline, but actually, who am I kidding? You do not need enough. You do not. <laughs> there is too much frontline, actually. Um, wondering if Basil is going for the AP Shaco, the one that's like annoying with like the boxes that like kill you, or if he's going to go for the AD Assassin Shaco. I think AP is easier to pilot. I don't know if it's better, but I think it's more popular. And it's that's why I think it's more likely that's what Baz will be building. But we'll have to see. And uh, yeah, another interesting pick, Blitzcrank. Definitely not necessary if they locked it in with this with the idea of denying Kobe Blitzcrank because Garen was locked in, and that's probably Kobe's champion. And even if it's not, they locked in Rakan. And Rakan is definitely a support. You cannot tell me that Rakan is going to go to somewhere else. And so, unless they want to deny Kobe's Blitzcrank top or something stupid. Um, to me, I see this Blitzcrank pick as just throwing down the gauntlet. Sam just saying, like, hey, whatever you can do, I can do better. And he, we'll see. If he can up the Blitzcrank stats or what. Um, definitely has a lot of room to work with because in my opinion i think hook champions are a lot easier when you have other melee champions with you to like distract the front line right there's gonna be people hitting scion hitting yasuo trying to like get away from shaco and amidst all that chaos blitzcrank is going to be able to just find a free hook onto someone that's not paying attention but if you're playing blitzcrank with a lot of non-committal champions like kobe was last game i mean there was rengar i guess but um it's it's a lot it's a lot easier to hit the hook in a team fight rather than like you know trying to like get it raw you know like no no nothing just a hook out of the blue but we'll see if Sam hooks the blue maybe he'll do his best Kobe impression and trying to invade steal away the buff from the Vi. Assuming Vi is jungling, I don't think anyone else on that team can jungle though, unless you're telling me Garen's jungling. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited. We will see. Jordan, 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 Jordan and Hubert definitely cooked something here. We'll see if it, we'll see Michelin star or complete Blaze pizza. <laughs> actually likes Blaze Pizza, but they're, they're closed now. I've actually only had it once, and I said I was going to keep going back. But they permanently closed, and now I'm sad. Anyway, let's see. Jordan. On a con. Where is... Yeah, Hubert is jungling. Okay, so it's not Hubert and... It's not Hubert and Jordan about me. Jason Canto and... Garen or end Kobe. Well, Kobe doesn't have teleport, but that doesn't mean anything because he never takes teleport. Shaco has Arcane Comet, so that probably means it's AP Shaco. And uh, yeah, I mean, Sammy's Hammy's team is pretty standard, I would say. But we'll see. Um, 
who's going where for Sammy's hammies. I'm going to look like this. But I don't even know. Anyway, here we go. Game 2 for HLCS Week 5. On the blue side, we have Sammy's hammies in the top lane, Keo in the jungle, Basil in the mid lane, Bobby in the bot lane, Anthony and Sam. Meanwhile, on the red side... For Jordan's Jorts in a top lane, Kobe in the jungle, Hubert in the mid lane, Jason Canto, or 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 Liam, I think in the mid lane, Liam and in the bot lane, Jason Canto and Jordan. I actually have zero clue. I'm pretty sure it's no. Jason Canto in the mid lane, Liam and Jordan in the bot lane for Jordan's Jorts. So yeah, I guess the only weird pick is the Alawi mid, but Ziggs is also odd, I guess. But they do have a lot of AD. So Liam was definitely like, okay, you guys have too much physical damage. Let me play Ziggs. Let me cook. This feels a bit unfair, though. Liam playing Ziggs APC while Bobby plays his main role on his main champ mid lane. <laughs> If you're asking me, this is a bit stacked in Bobby's favor, but we will we will see. Bobby is undefeated in HLCS so far. Played three games, won three games. Definitely a solid streak so far. I also didn't wait a second. That's not Jason Canto top lane. It's I mean mid lane. It's wait. It, so Kobe, it is Kobe. It is Garen mid lane. I did mention this in draft. It's unfortunately not the Slugger matchup of Scion versus Garen top lane, but it is Scion versus the Lowey top lane. So, definitely not as interactive, but we'll see. I don't know if Kobe will be able to uh, deal with this, though. Not because of a champ difference, but because of a player difference. Kobe, not really known for being good at like wave management or CSing or farming. He's just good at catching people off guard. He's caught, he's caught the best of the best off guard so far. From Jason, he got Jason Wingard, he got Basil, he's taking names on this Garen with the Ignite ultimate, but I don't know. Will Bobby, will he be able to get a solo kill onto Bobby? We, we will see. But yeah. As Bobby going in level 3, or, as, yeah, as, as he level 3, but wait, Sam, flash the same, punches up, Hubert, Hubert, I mean not Hubert, <laughs> Uh, punches up Jordan. Jordan gets taken down by Anthony. And Basil is also here to support his bot lane. But first blood will go over to Jinx. And wow! Hubert goes for a flash Q onto, onto Bobby in the mid lane. But it's not enough damage onto the Yasuo there. Unfortunately, he would have definitely loved to kill Bobby there. But it's not enough. If Kobe maybe had ignited some time during a trade, it could have meant all the difference. That would have meant that uh, Hubert would have gotten the kill there. But unfortunately... Bobby will be able to get away there, unfortunately, for Sammy's hammies. But yeah, I mean, for Jordan's shorts. Um, Sammy's hammies, though. First blood in the bot lane. Early gank there from Basil Shaco. Onto, onto Jordan there. Jordan and Liam definitely have their work cut out for them in this bot lane. Always using the teleport there from Ziggs. And wait, Keo almost dying as... Jason Kanto also playing with his food. Goes for the tower dive. Will trade one for one. Uh, will be able to kind of crash the wave, but the Scion passive will be able to fix that for him. Will be a slow push back towards Jason Kanto. I am. You have to imagine they're both going to teleport or not. Okay, they're going to walk. Well, Kyo's going to teleport, but wait. Hold on. Sam finds another hook onto Jordan, but oh no. Wow. Liam uses the satchel. Interrupts Anthony and Sam, but it's not enough. Sam, uh, Anthony, one more auto. Finds... Jordan on the back end of that fight, but Liam trying to deal the damage back out, but he's just Ziggs. He doesn't do that. He does not. You are not going to be able to out DPS a Jinx, especially an excited one. So yeah. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> this is going a bit how the last Ziggs bot lane went, which is they just get completely, completely, uh, completely blasted in the bot lane. It's also worth noting, I feel like Rakan is not a great pairing with Ziggs. I think Rakan, I mean, what Rakan should maybe do is just leave Ziggs bot lane. But it's hard to leave Ziggs bot lane when there's a Blitzcrank on the enemy team. So this Ziggs pick is definitely a bit difficult. What? Because I, I don't know. I'm, again, 
not a master. I'm not good at this game. But I did play Ziggs mid. I mean, Ziggs bot. Because I refused to play ADCs. And normally on Ziggs, I just try to stay back as, as far as I can and farm with my Q and my abilities and try not to die. And that basically means I never want people to engage. And Vakan is one of the best engagers in the game, which is great for the team, but not for Ziggs, in my opinion. Not there's no, like Rakan can get the nicest engage ever with <laughs> two man knockup, and then what? Ziggs is not going to be able to make the trade worthwhile. Just three autos from Anthony will be worth so much. Meanwhile, in the, in the top lane, Keo just taking a bit of a beating from Alawi, but no, no dying yet. I mean, they did trade one for one earlier, but. So far, not too much action elsewhere. Bobby just farming up mid, but he actually, he and Kobe are even in farm for now. I, I don't know what the, the wave looks like, but definitely not as much, much of a deficit as I thought it would be. So good for Kobe. But wait, he, he does have level six now, but so does Kobe. Kobe. Definitely, he's definitely thinking about it. He ignites. He ignites. Will he be able to get the ult off? But no. Here comes Basil. And no, Basil. Will it be enough? Oh, he has his own ignite. The fadeaway. From the jungler of, of Sammy's hammies. So unlucky. Kobe definitely feels a bit cheated there. He thought he could get the kill. But no, Basil. From the stealth of the Shaco, he just arrives, ignites him, kills him, leaves, refuses to elaborate. Helps out his mid laner there. I think Bobby would have been fine to be honest, but definitely getting a kill back, getting a kill one for nothing is better than just keeping him alive. So yeah. Good attempt there from Kobe, but thwarted by the mid lane. Uh, by the mid lane jungle attraction. Can't get away with as much mid lane as you can top lane, unfortunately. Shorter lane, more jungle attention in. Jordan goes for it and get, goes for a, a, uh, goes for the grand entrance there, but not able to connect. And wow, Sam vets the hook, but will he be able to convert this into a kill? One auto, one zap, and not enough. One more auto maybe would have killed Jordan there. But Anthony is six. I'm paying attention, but. While this mid lane trade is going, Anthony not going for the snipe though. Holds it. I think he should have went for it first. But maybe he had no mana, but it looked like he had mana to me. What a weenie. Anyways. Yeah, it's definitely a bit difficult as... Oh, Liam gets hooked there. But will be able to flash away. Uses his own ultimate to try and trade back. Meanwhile, on the mid lane... Bobby uses the ult onto Kobe. Kobe flashes away for his life. And meanwhile, the top lane, it's Basil and his clone and Keo fight fighting Jason Kanto. Jason Kanto uses the ultimate, but smartly, Basil and Keo just all walk away. They know how to fight against the Lowry. They know not to get all slapped by the tentacles. And so, yeah, a, a bit, bit of a dismantling there in the top lane. All that action and only one kill over um, to Keo in the top lane. And yeah. I'm surprised Kobe didn't die in the mid lane. Um, he does look like he used the ultimate. I wish I could get some kind of replay on what happened, but... No kill means no... No nothing. But yeah, Kobe... Definitely holding his own. Maybe this was the answer. It's not... We didn't need to put our best players. We didn't need to put Basil or, or, okay, I say best players, but I said it was literally Biggie last time. But we don't need to put it, we don't need to put our best players against uh, Bobby. And I don't know why I said Basil. It was, uh, it was Jordan. We need to put Kobe's Garen against Basil. I mean, against Bobby. I keep messing up all the names. I'm sorry. <laughs> we need to put Kobe's Garen against Bobby. That will solve the problem. And it looks like it's working so far. Jason Kanto doing pretty all right for himself as well. Just outside of the two times he got ganked. Oh, outside of the one time he got ganked. 
Kobe keeping even in farm too is also what's really impressive about this. I thought he would be doing a lot worse. And Kobe trying to offer a fight here. He knows he has he knows he has the ultimate, but more importantly, he has Hubert's ultimate. And yeah, he doesn't even need to use the Damasian Justice. They find the 2v1 kill onto onto Bobby Midley, but hold on in the bot lane. Sam flashes silences on the Blitzcrank, but Jordan pops his own ultimate, uses the quickness to onto Anthony. <laughs> but dude, Ziggs just does nothing. I'm telling you, he does not. You do not play him for lane. He uses the the super mega death bomb, but it's not gonna be enough. And wait, Kobe! Kobe stuns the ultimate! He guesses correctly! He finds the ultimate on the Basil! That's another one on the list! Oh my no no Basil! He definitely thought he could get him on the turret. He was low health. He has his own ultimate. Two Shakos, but no, Kobe able to correctly smite down the Um the real one there. And we'll be able to get a kill in the mid lane. And so yeah. Things are looking good in the bot lane. And yeah, maybe, look, I'm a, being a bit harsh on Ziggs, but I definitely think it's hard for Liam to try and fight against a Blitzcrank Jinx at all. Even if they weren't down in gold, it's definitely going to be difficult. But since they are down in gold, it's just not, it's just, I think it's kind of curtains for bot lane. They just need to like chill out, kind of be boring. If they want to not be boring, they can start roaming a bit, or like Jordan can start roaming a bit. But uh, yeah, definitely not going to be an exciting game for Liam for the next five minutes or so. <laughs> but hold on. Looks like Jordan heard me. He is roaming mid. Will be spotted out by the ward though, I think. In the mid bush there. But, oh my god. Well, hold on. We have a two, we have a 2v3 in the mid lane. It's Bob, Bobby and Basil versus Jordan Hubert and Kobe. But hold on. Keo's teleporting in. Will they be able to find the team fight? It's a 3v3. It's a nice ultimate. Last, last, uh, last breath from, from Bobby onto two there. Gets a double kill for Basil, onto Hubert and Kobe, and yeah, Kyo arriving there to ch just in time with the teleport to chain CC with his own ultimate. Gets a wombo combo to kill both mid lane and jungle from Jordan's Jorts, and yeah, it is just looking so difficult for them in this game so far. Hopefully Jason Canto can maybe do something in this top lane, but Kyo pushing down the mid lane. Not the inting sign, I know. He's he's not inting enough to be called an inting sign. He's not the boss. But he's definitely he's definitely doing well in his own right. As Bobby going up to going up top lane to collect the top wave. As Kyo stays in the mid lane after teleporting. To crash that wave. Kobe is here. Kobe <laughs> stops Kyo's back. If he's not careful, Basil might rotate mid, but we'll see. He decides to. And wow, I did not know he could windball that. <laughs> he could windball the the Lowy spirit grab thing. And wait, Bobby's cooking. Uses the last breath. And he also knows. Wait, wait, Jason Kanto. Getting the tentacle slaps onto Bobby! Bobby! You have to know that that heals him! And wait, the Inting Sai is coming into play in the mid lane. They use the Rift Tail and they're going on to Kobe. Kobe uses the Ignite, flashes away as well. Trying to... Won't be able to save his tower, but will save his life. But yeah, Bobby dies in the top lane. But hold on, hold on to that Zod. Jordan pops the quickness, goes bot lane. But again, there's just no damage. Schubert gets stopped by the Jinx Traps. There, like, you can have all the go buttons in the world, but what is Ziggs gonna do? I'm a Ziggs, I'm a bit of a Ziggs hater right now. But yeah, it does not, there's just, their health bars are not low enough for them to be doing that, I think. And if the health bars aren't low enough, they definitely don't have the items quite yet. No Linens or Leandries to Liam's name. I do think a Leandries would be a lot better here, especially considering um, the Scion. But uh, yeah. Kobe, <laughs> looking for Basil, gets a bit, uh, he gets his ankles a bit broken there by Shaco, but it ha it's, can't really blame Shaco. But will Liam get a kill on Ziggs in lane? That is my question. I think the answer is no. It is very hard to actually kill someone in lane. At best, you just poke them out to make them not want to stay there anymore. But if 
not even, I wouldn't, it's not, that's not even, like, happening, because he is down in farm. He is getting a bit, he got, uh, he had a bit of a rough start in the early game. But, you know what? It's, the one thing I haven't said, though, is that Ziggs does take towers faster. And, wow, I timed that perfectly. <laughs> he just, yeah, he will be, he will be able to take, um, the bot lane tower for, of Sammy's Hammies. So it doesn't really matter how many times they've died in, in lane. Yeah, Jason Kanto. Jason Kanto kind of taunting Kyo here. <laughs> uh, yeah, kind of, kind of taunting uh, Kyo. Definitely a bit... I definitely... Impressed when he solo killed Bobby there in the top lane. I was not expecting that to work, but yeah, Lowey's damage is just surprising at all levels. And hold on, both ultimates are used. Oh uh, no, not both ultimates. Um, Lowey ultimate will be used onto Kyo, but Kyo gets a fully charged Q onto Lowey there, but and we'll just walk away. Meanwhile, the rest of Sammy's Hammies are going to be taking this Chemtech Drake, second one of the game. Will Hunk Hubert try to get the? Try to get a, a steal, but no. Sam will pop the Shirelia's Reverie, but um, there will be no pick to be done. Wait, Kyo using the ult in the mid lane, but Liam just just steps to the side, but it doesn't matter. The rest of Sammy's hammies are there. The entire they just called the Avengers onto this poor Ziggs. <laughs> it is, I I cannot imagine Liam is very happy playing Ziggs right now. I'm sure it was his idea as soon as he saw how much AD that they were playing to go. But, uh. Yeah, it's definitely a bit difficult. Kyo will be. Like. Sammy's Hemis also has a bunch of just arm. Uh, a bunch of physical damage. I mean, outside of Basil, but like. A bunch of physical damage. Armor is very useful for. Uh, poor Jordan's Jorts here. But they can't do the same back because they don't really have a tank like Scion. Scion is just... They can't get away with having a full physical comp. And by, wait, hold on! Wait, will they be able to get a kill? Hey, it's good! They get the kill with the help of Ignite! Uh, with the help of Jordan's Ignite, they find a kill onto, uh, onto Anthony there in the mid lane, but meanwhile on the top lane, a 2v1 against Kyo, Hubert, and Jason Kanto. Will they be able to get him? I think they should. I mean, it's going to take a while, but they will be able to get him. Kyo just <laughs> just lumbering away, trying to trying to fight back a little bit, but it's not going to do much. The Scion Pass is not going to do anything besides collect, collect that farm there. And wow, Liam is going to also take the mid lane turret with the Ziggs W. So, the Ziggs pick is definitely finding a lot of value, but it will be um, it will be at the cost of a bit of his sanity as well as just rough early game as well. But it looks like they are stabilizing as they start to take up this uh, start, as they start up the Rift Herald. If they can keep getting these towers, if they can keep finding um, control over the map, it could be they could try and play around it. Remember, Kobe's Garen is in this game. Bobby, once again, split pushing, but this time on the Yasuo. He's just trying to take that tier 1 bot tower. But, uh, yeah. As we take a reset. And wait, hold on. Kobe... Getting a bit collapsed on in the bot lane. Will he build get one back? No! The ultimate is not enough! He will not be able to kill Bobby! Bobby escapes the Damasian justice from Kobe. Oh no. That would have been so funny. He would have just done what Bobby's been doing to them all last game, but back to him where he trades one for one, but unfortunately not able to do he does his best Bobby impression, but he is not Bobby. And hold on. Liam and Jordan are taking over in the bot lane. Hook will go wide from Sam. A bit of unfortunate there. Continue what he hasn't really been able to continue what what they were what they got rolling in the, the early game. Yeah, 
Yes. Kyo. Doing a bit of split pushing himself. Has to demolish on Scion. But Jason Kanto is there. And wait, oh, Ky oh Kyo has Heart Steel. Yeah, Kyo has Heart Steel as well. But Heart Steel is not going to be able to get him away from this. Uh, that ultimate will, but wow! A nice flash from Jason Kanto to block the Scion ult. What a smart play, and one more tentacle will do the job. And meanwhile, the mid lane, looks like Basil's getting engaged on by Hubert, but he will be able to pop the clone, but will he be able to get away from Kobe? Kobe, okay, come on, Kobe. You had to have known that was the fake one. And yeah, Basil taunting Kobe to try and <laughs> approach, but Kobe knows there's a trap there. And uh, yeah, this, this team fight is so scattered. Liam's just getting engaged on by Anthony. Anthony's just... Anthony just basically solo killed him with auto attacks in the mid lane. That is so sad. Oh no. <laughs> there was no one there to save to save Liam. Sam didn't even have to do anything. He didn't know hook or anything. Meanwhile, Kobe wants to try and fight more. Hubert saying, let's do it. And Jordan pops the quickness. They find a knockout onto Anthony. They will not Liam die in vain. A bit of an over extension there from the bot lane of Sammy's Hammies. And yeah, Kobe. Um. Kobe, Jordan, and Huber all using their ults there, but will be worth it as the Drake, the, the third Drake of the game is up. They will be able to just secure it, I think. Yeah, as things slow down a bit. Jason Kanto will be teleporting top lane. And wait, hold on. Liam gang engaged again by Sam in the, in the mid lane, but this time he has his team. Jordan doing a great job peeling this time, not just gonna let Liam die for free. And wow, the flash grand entrance is good. And Anthony, nice step back there, but it doesn't matter. Hubert will just use the ultimate to catch him. And another grand entrance connects onto Sam. And yes, finally, Liam able to do something in these team fights. But wait a second, what's going on in the top lane? A 2v1 onto Jason Kanto, but Jason Kanto kills Keo and gets away with his life. Basil not able to collect that kill. Meanwhile, the bot lane will Kobe kill Bobby. He does. He gets the ultimate onto Bobby. Add it to the list. And wait, Jason Kato's not done. He kills the wrong one. He kills the clone. Oh no. Basil finds the kill back onto Jason Kato in the top lane, but it doesn't even matter. There's three people hitting down the mid lane and the mid inhib of Sammy's Hammies. Ziggs doing so much work onto these towers, being able to kill them so easily. And yeah. It looked like it was about to be a repeat of what happened last team fight where Liam just dies for free. But no, this time he has his he has his support there. He has his juggler in in his pocket, and they just counter engage back onto them. It's it's, it's a good fight for Jordan's Jorts across the board. And yeah, after a rough early game, the the game has evened out, 13 to 13. The gold about even. Kyo still in this top lane. <laughs> Trying to take this turret down once and for all. It's 24 minutes. Will he finally be able to do it? Hubert just being so annoying. He's just, he's ulting him. Oh my goodness. He bought enough time. Kyo will be able to get the turret, but he's just going to die. There's three people in the top lane here. Will he be able to die actually? Okay, yeah. He does eventually die. The Scion zombie won't be able to get Hubert. And yeah, Kyo dies for that turret. He is quite the inting Scion, I guess. Call in the Baus, I guess. Does he have the huge CS lead? Nah. <laughs> Bobby has a nice CS lead, but Kobe, five and three on the Garen. We found the answer, it seems. <laughs> Kobe's Garen. We don't need to fear Bobby's Yasuo, is what they'll be saying in the streets. All hail the king of Damasia. Is he the king? He's not the king. I'm so stupid. Jarvan is the prince or king or something. I don't know the lore. But whatever.
Sam looking for an engage here onto Jason Kento. Finds a nice hook onto Olawi, but wait, this is the Wowie you were talking about. He finds the ultimate. Will he be able to find one back? No. Sam pops the Shrelia's Reverie, able to <coughs> able to kite back a bit. I don't know why Liam teleported in the middle of five people, four people there. <laughs> He's just a Ziggs. Um, definitely got a bit excited there. As we go into a pause, Hubert, disconnect, reconnect, disconnect, reconnect, paused. Don't know what's going on. I will just wait here, I guess. But you know what? I could use the break. Oh my goodness. That was... Um, yeah. This game has been incredible so far. It was a, a solid start in the beginning by by Sammy Tammy's in the bot lane but now it's just evened out Liam's mental definitely not um, definitely not broken yet even though if that even though that teleport was a bit sus No, Bobby Zasuo, not here to not here to throw shade around, but definitely not the not the not the game changer in this in this uh, definitely not the carry that we thought he would be for Sammy's Hammies. Definitely coming off the back of Anthony's Jinx as and Basil's um, Basil's Shaco, and Sam's Blitzcrank is doing pretty well. Definitely not uh, going for crazy angles like Kobe does. Definitely not as explosive. He does go for the flash trick. I mean, there's only so many ways you can be ex skill expressive on Blitzcrank, let's be honest, but maybe I'm just biased because Kobe is just still performing super well on Garen. And yeah, we see them. We see both teams trying to set up for Drake. They have to know it's a close game. And Sweeper is being used. Very smart, very, very wise. Hook goes wide from Sam. All five members from Sammy's Hammies are here, but J they have to do, try and do something because Jason Kanto is pushing down the top lane and they do do something. The Scion ultimate into the Yasuo ultimate onto the back line, but it's not going to do anything. Kobe just says, please be, please sit down on to Bobby as he casts the Demacian might onto him, but they will trade back one over. Hubert dies and Jinx is excited to they find they find said Demacian Might as well. Kobe and Hubert both fall prey to Anthony's Jinx. Lots of low health bars though. Jason Kanto still pushing down the top lane turret. Looks like they're going to opt to not take this Drake quite yet. Zig still alive. Gonna be so annoying as they try to take the rest of the... As they try... If they try to continue to take the, the Drake. But there's also just the super minions in the mid lane that they cannot ignore. Then Sam gang chased down by Jordan. Uh, he looks for the hook, but not gonna find it. Oh, I don't even know if that was good. There was no one around to try and assist him for, except for maybe a low health Basil. Akio here in the top lane. Will he be able to hold on? He, I think he should. I definitely think of all champions. I mean, he has his own hold breaker as well. Um. Lowry does have the Black Cleaver, but no Divine Sunderer. Will not be able to kill the Scion very quickly. As Jordan's shorts re-rotates re re to the Drake. But here comes the teleport in from Keo. A, tele a teleport to match from Jason Kanto. Bobby on the flank. He's getting chased down by Kobe. Kobe, once again, going for going for Bobby there on the side. But meanwhile, Hubert secures the Drake. It's good. But the rest of Sammy's Hammies are coming into the pit. Basil and Keo trying to take the rest of the fight. Here comes Anthony and Sam, finally. Sam, the hook goes wide, but... Jason Kanto stuck in the pit with the Olawi ultimate, and Bobby, meanwhile, wins the <laughs> wins the one v one in the side lane, and Liam with a super mega death. Um, what is it? It's not super mega death rocket. It's the whatever the Ziggs ultimate finds Basil on the back end of that fight. But meanwhile, Bobby, <laughs> Bobby, fatigued from his fight with Kobe, gets collapsed on by Hubert, Jordan, and Liam will die as well. It's a two for two overall. As well as a Drake for Jordan's George, so it's good. But hold on, Kyo definitely um, might have something to say about it if he can take this mid lane turret. 
has to demolish. It's just Jordan to mid lane. Not gonna be able to do much. Oh my goodness, that turret just disappeared. As he also, as Kyo being smart, decides to ult away. But yeah, uh, lot, lots of lots of action going on here. Kobe and Bobby can constantly just clashing swords. Crossing swords, I mean, whatever. That's how the phrase goes. Constantly crossing swords in these fights. This time, Bobby comes out on top. First kill of the game, I think, for him. Yeah. Definitely just goes to show, like, even though Kobe does have a, a sizable lead in terms of kills, cannot neglect how much farm Bobby has as well as just, you know, Yasuo is very strong um, when in the right, when piloted by the right person. Don't think Kobe had ignite in that fight though either. So, well, I mean, lots of lots of ifs that could have been said. Wish I could have seen it. Is why I wish I. It's why I wish. But um, Kyo pinging the top turret will be maybe he will finally do the inting sign strat. But Hubert. Here to disrupt him. And not just Hubert, but Jordan and Kobe too. Kyo does have the ultimate. He's trying to look for an angle at which he can do it. And wow, a nice grand entrance from Jordan. Will be able to stop him. Kyo has to flash over the wall to get away. And yeah, they're just they're not letting Kyo do this for free. Like normally, um Normally Sion will just be able to ult on out of there, but. They don't even have to use a flash that time. They just use the Grand Entrance from a con to block it. So it's actually a good trade. Normally, it's it's worth for the Scion because a flash point ult time is huge. But hold on. They both both supports trying to engage. But it looks like it's going to be Anthony that goes down to Jordan as he gets engaged on by the quickness. And it's just going to be a one for nothing as the rest of Sammy's Hammies runs away. But they run right into the waiting arms of Kyo. But Kobe still marches forward. He gets hooked by Sam. Sam gets ulted by Kobe. Kobe, no more ultimate. Has to run away. <clears throat> gets a... Uh, well, they will find one. Uh, they will find, I mean, another one. But wait, they're not done. Hubert goes over the wall. Doesn't connect... Uh, doesn't connect... The, the Q, though. But hold on, the rest of Sammy's hammies are here now. Mostly Bobby is here now. Um, wait, how did Kobe die? I didn't see how Kobe died, but Kyo in the middle of four people. Oh, but wait, it's a, t it's a double ultimate for Bobby. Will he be able to navigate his team fight without dying? He's still alive and the Lowry ultimate is huge from Jason Kanto, he finds one, he finds two, and another one for Liam on the Ziggs, but he gets caught by Anthony. Anthony has respawned now. Jordan burns down from the Leandres from Basil. It's all, it's an ace for Sammy's Hammies. Wow, the triple kill for Basil. It was looking so good. Jason Kanto had a huge Alawi ultimate, and I thought it was Jover because, you know, Keo and Bobby tried to do something. They tried to get the Flash ultimate, uh, no, not the Flash ultimate, just the ultimate. Um, Wombo combo, but they only connected onto two, and it looked like it was really bad. Bobby played about as well as he could before going down to the Alawi tentacles, but Basil actually did so much in that fight. Uh, um, before Anthony and Sam came to clean the rest of it up, and yeah, this AP Shaco doing so much damage, 12 and 3 now. The burn damage. Maybe that's how Kobe died. He died to a Shaco box. And this game is definitely a close one. I th both teams can certainly feel it. 3k gold deficit for Jordan's Jorts, but... They definitely... They have more... Um, they have more control of the map because they don't have an exposed inhib in the mid lane here. This mid, this mid wave... Can be life or death as... Wow, that was a bit unlucky by Jordan. Tries to pop the quickness and hold on. Here we go. Round, round like a million for Kobe and Bobby in the bot lane. 
Looks like they're just posturing though. Kobe running away, being the smarter man, realizing that the rest of Bobby's team is coming down. Meanwhile, in the top lane, Jason Kanto and Keo slugging it out here. And likewise, rest of Jordan's shorts will come to the top lane, but Keo not able to run away like Kobe does. And might just die here. Pops the Gargoyle Stone Plate, has a giant shield, does, has so much health. But I don't think he's going to be able to turn this one around even with the ultimate. Um, even, like, he used the ultimate earlier and it got blocked, so. Kyo will die there, one for nothing. And wow! What just happened there? Schubert uses the ultimate and Ziggs with a giant bomb just completely deletes Anthony and Hubert's not done. He gives. He, gi he gives <laughs> Blitzcrank the giant fist and oh my gosh, that is so troll by Basil. He just, he just auto attacks to make it all. <laughs> Wait, I, we, we'll, we'll go back to that, but Garen, um, Kobe, ulting Bobby in the side lane there with the help of Jordan and Liam as well, able to get Basil, uh, able to get Bobby in the side lane. It's a four for one across the map in favor of Jordan's George. They're crawling back in terms of gold, but can we talk about how Basil used the clone? Hubert was punching the wrong one, but Basil made sure to not make it obvious. He just kept auto attacking like he was the clone, and Hubert just was auto attacking him for like at least like five seconds or something. And it wasn't until the clone died that he realized Hubert made a mistake. And yeah, he paid the price, and Basil just completely complete mental warfare. On to Hubert right there. And meanwhile, Ke uh, Keo teleporting top here. Looks like Sammy's hammies are going for a bit of a cross map play. Trying to use this pressure from Keo. Kobe just tell just uh, backed. So there's no one from Jordan's Jorts to contest the Baron. But meanwhile, Keo is just trying to buy as much time as possible. Will ult in towards the towards the enemy base to buy even more time he's proxying the bot wave he's buying so much time for sammy's hammies and yeah that is just going to be the baron buff for for keo as well because keo is still alive he pops the gargoyle stone plate he's trying to get these heart steals heart steal procs he's trying to get onto onto liam but wow that's a bit anticlimactic i thought it'd do so much more damage but no it's not gonna be enough but it doesn't matter, he did his job. The rest of Sammy's hammies are here. They used the, the Yasuo ultimate onto Jason Kanto. Jason Kanto uses his own ultimate, but it's not gonna be enough. He dies too quickly. The Baron the Baron buff um, on Sammy's hammies. They will try and siege mid. Kobe getting hooked by his own champion. Gets, uh, gets taken down by Anthony, but hold on. Sam will go down and Bobby too. By Huber. Huber doing so much work on this fight. And Anthony is just a jinx. He will get blasted by by Hubert as well, a triple kill for Hubert, phenomenal, wow, just so much, so much action going on, so much back and forth, you think it's going one way, but it's actually going the other way, Basil, the remaining survivor with the Baron buff as the Drake spawns, a Cloud Soul could do so much for, um, for Jordan's George here, as they're going to try and take this inhib, Liam, Doesn't have the Lich Bane actually. I thought he had the Lich Bane, that's why he threw the thing. But it's for the passive actually. But Liam almost full build on the Ziggs. I was hating it so much early, but that's how it is. I love Ziggs bot. That's why I keep playing it. And this is the part of the game where it's fun. <laughs> Especially when you have your engage with um, like such telegraphed, uh, like such easy to communicate engages from Rakan and Vi, able to just get. The, the the sweet spot of the, the Ziggs ultimate so easily and Liam trying to get the the Shaco box here it seems but in fact he will just get wait does he see that oh no he's just gonna get assassinated by Basil he has to flash away he uses the satchel as well he will will be able to stay alive for now but Keo look at how huge this man is he is so large what he has the elixir of iron he doesn't have full build but he has the hard steel a thousand health on this uh a thousand extra bonus health for the Scion. He has to have like eight, nine thousand health, and Yasuo will go in at Ki on Kyo's um, on Kyo's Scion Q. And while this all this fight is happening, Basil just sold the Drake as well, deny them the Soul, the, the Cloud Soul, and B Bobby and B Bobby and Kyo aren't done. Just back to back like brothers, they keep 
going forward and keep marching towards the enemy base. But wait, Kobe doing <laughs> doing his best Bobby impression, split pushing. Wait, he fight. He guesses the correct one again. He's so much better than Hubert. He gets the gets Basil, and that's crucial because Basil had the Baron buff. He was the only one stopping Kobe from split pushing here. The rest of Sammy's Hemis won't be able to back. Well, actually, Anthony will be able to back here, but Bobby and Keo are preoccupied fighting Jordan and Liam. Garen, uh, Kobe, a little too low though. We'll have to run away, but wow! He tried to size up, but he didn't even have to. The minion took it for him. Unfortunately, he, he tries to walk around, but the Jinx rockets are just too long of a just too long of an auto attack range. We'll find a kill onto Kobe there. I have no idea who's gonna win this game. It's 30 to 31, a 4k gold lead in favor of Sammy's Hammies, but it's not a big gold lead at all. Like at this point of the game, people are starting to be full build. Liam almost full full build. He might just be full build. I don't have gold uh, tracking. No, he doesn't have full build yet. But so many, so many people. Just five items. The only person that looks to be full build is actually no one. No one is full build yet. But items are about equal. So this 3k gold lead doesn't really mean much in the grand scheme of things. A 3k gold lead at 40 minutes is not the same 3k gold lead they might have had at 15 or 20 minutes if they continue to keep blasting bot lane. But hold on. Sam goes for a hook, goes wide. Jason Kanto and Keo continuing to slug it out in the top lane. But Keo, as the game goes on, it's just gonna get harder for Jason Kanto to try and burst down. Um or not burst down. It's gonna take longer and longer for him to kill Keo. I know the I know that Alawi, especially uh, along with the Black Cleaver, can do a lot of damage to uh, high health targets, but Gargoyle Stone Plate plus the Scion passive plus the Heart steel passive will make it very, make it very. I feel like you're just hitting him. <laughs> like a sack of rice in the top lane. Just, nothing is happening. And hold on. And Hubert goes in, gets the vial ultimate, and the Zigzo will connect onto onto Anthony, but Anthony has to pop the stopwatch, and the quickness is popped. But, and Kobe uses the ultimate onto Anthony, he will get the shutdown, but Basil in the back lane, he gets Hubert, and Bobby! Just uses the Yasuo ultimate as well. I don't even know where Siren went. Siren and <laughs> Kyo <laughs> kills Liam in the back lane. What happened there? Did they both Kyo, both Siren and Alawi teleport in the, in the in the middle of the fight? And Jason Kanto, he goes for the hero play on with the Alawi ultimate, but he whiffs. I don't think it connected. Did it connect? It doesn't look like it hit anyone. And Jordan's shorts will get aced in the last few minutes of this game. And oh no, it was so close until it wasn't, it was looking so good. They got Anthony. Anthony, though, able to buy so much time with that stopwatch. He does go down in the end, but at what cost? Jordan's George, it was a valiant effort. Hubert continuing to try and make the plays happen, but it wasn't enough as Sammy's Hemi's four man strong will destroy the Nexus for a 2-0 victory. Bobby remaining undefeated, which is ridiculous because I thought that he wasn't even the main star of this game. But yeah, everyone everyone in this game had their moments. But uh, unfortunately, not even Kobe's Garen in the mid lane will be able to pacify just the complete four game win streak now from Bobby. So yeah. Game two goes to Sammy's Hammies. Yeah, game two goes over to Sammy's Hammies.